Hello again. In this video, I will demonstrate how to create a multi-language project with Easy Builder Pro. So, let's get started. In the interest of time, I went ahead and created a project ahead of time. And there are a couple elements that you're going to need to have in place to create a multi-language project. First of all, we have a system register that is used to define the language mode. In other words, the value that is placed in this register will determine which language is displayed. Now there's a couple ways you can place a value into that register. And over here I've made some word set objects and they're addressed to the same register and uh, we're doing a right constant value and I went ahead and went through our library and I found some flags that would associate with the languages uh, the second element you're going to have to have in place is either a label library or you could actually even use a string table but for this example we're just using the label library and you can create a new label library and whatever values you put in each one of these boxes will determine the language this is language one two three so on and so forth now, I would tell you this, don't let this language one confuse you. That is the first index in this table. So that would require a zero in our system tag to define which language it is. All right. Now, uh, in these labels, you can do multi states if you like. So it could be used in a word lamp if you wish. And then um, we could go to the other state and, and put more text in there. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the one I already did because uh, I went online and got translations for all of these languages. So if they're incorrect, uh, I hope it doesn't offend anybody. Uh, so in this example, we have two states. In English, it's hello and goodbye. And then um, I added translations I found online. This is Japanese, Italian, and traditional Chinese, which is spoken in Taiwan. And uh, that's really all there is to the uh, label library. So uh, right here I've got a static text object that I'm using for display, but I'm going to go ahead and um, add in a word lamp. And I'm just going to leave the read address there and go to four states. I'm not going to use a shape. And I'm going to use our label library and our hello label. Now you can change through the different languages and adjust the font size if you wish. Japanese it looked like it was a little bit longer there. Maybe still a little longer. And I'm going to go to state two. And that looks like that'll fit. Actually, I only need two states because that's all I have hello and goodbye. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave that at that. 
we'll put it there and going to put another numeric entry address it to LW0 so let's go ahead and run an offline simulation and uh, we can go ahead and cycle through our languages And then uh, over here, we're going to go ahead and uh, go to state one. And it's uh, as simple as that. Thanks for watching, and be sure to come back and see more of our instructional videos.